to another video today we're back for another cooking video we're going to be making a beautiful lovely chocolate cake not my recipe though i actually followed preppy kitchen's uh youtube video and the guy that does the videos does pretty good stuff so i definitely want to follow more of his recipes but this chocolate cake i literally made it the other day posted it on instagram and all of you were like oh my god you need to like film this um, but obviously the recipe is from Preppy Kitchen. I'll link it in the info box. So I won't be mentioning all like measurements and stuff. It's literally on the website. Definitely recommend him. And do you know, I really love his videos. I literally watched him on the train home or to work just because it's just so satisfying. Like just watching people make cakes. I guess I'm not going to talk too much. We're going to jump straight to it. But before we jump into it, <laughs> I'm going to do my post notification shout out. And today's one's going to go to Armani A. So thank you so much for your sweet comment. It really means a lot to me. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Please mind the way I look. I've literally come from work. I mean, I was more presentable this morning, but yeah. Alright, shall we jump straight into it then? If you guys really do enjoy these videos, I promise I'll invest in like prettier bowls or something because I'm literally all over the place. Like, what is this? Mother, I blame this on it. What is this? An ugly blue plastic. Oh! Whew. Anyways, first thing you're going to need is some flour. So we're going to put our flour in there. You're also going to want to get your sugar. There's a lot of sugar here. There we go. Yep. Uh, we're going to also use some cocoa powder. It's Tesco brand. Oh my god, I should do like a Tesco branded stuff cake versus a branded cake. Can we do that? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so we put uh, flour, sugar, cocoa powder. We're now going to use a tablespoon. There best be no fly around here. There is. Bloody hell, you must think I live in a bloody farm with all these flies everywhere. But we're going to use. We're going to get a tablespoon of baking soda. Baking soda. Baking soda. We're going to use a tea, teaspoon of baking powder. And we're going to use some salt. The recipe says kosher salt. I have no idea what that is. So I'm literally just using normal table, table salt as the. And I'm just literally just chucking that in there. And you just need to whisk that all together. Can you guys see? Nah. I don't know why lately, all of a sudden, I've just been so into like, just baking cakes and cooking actually. Not much so like, cause I just love the satisfaction of making a nice cake, you know? I feel like the next one I wanna try is lemon cake. Okay, we've got that there. Another ugly bowl. All right, so now we need our wet stuff. Uh, the first thing we need is some vegetable oil. I think this is, what's make, this is what makes it moist. Then we're going to get some hot coffee. Literally just plain old coffee. Uh, Coke, the recipe says buttermilk. I couldn't find it any, anywhere. So we're going to use coconut milk. It smells so lush. Oh my god, I could literally eat that. We're then gonna need uh, 120, I think it's 120 ml of sour cream, Tesco brand. And I'm just winging it, oh shit. We're gonna need three large eggs, oh, and some corner shop vanilla essence. I mean, I feel like I need to invest in some good vanilla extract, but I do feel like darker ones smell and taste so much better. Just putting that out there. Oh shit, I put too much. Right, I'm gonna whisk that all together. This literally smells like a latte. I wish I could share this smell with you through the camera. Right, we're gonna mix this into our flour powder mixture. I do little by little, like he says in the video. Otherwise, you're just gonna just have a big mess. Just do it slowly at a time. I did a full on arm workout yesterday, so 
probably didn't choose the best day. I don't, you can use a mixer for this, but I want to keep my mixer clean for like the buttercream. This is so lush. So, can you see that? I've got three eight inch as the brand uh, cake pans, cake baking tins, I don't know. I'm not playing around here, you really need to butter this stuff up because you don't want it to stick. If you really want to, if you really want to, you can get some like flour and just place it on the butter. You want to have these and what these are is actually, I actually learnt these from Preppy's Kitchen and these are basically, this is what's going to actually help your cake stay uh, level so not like become a mountain when it cooks and it also helps to like the edges not burn. Oh my god, I'm so happy I bloody discovered this thing. It's amazing. So you just want to slip this around your tin like so and that's literally it and this is what's gonna like keep your cake level and on point okay just want to keep it like that got these on amazon for like 10 pounds but you're gonna like use this so many times if you're baking a lot so to me it was worth it what i was doing before actually is using like using a lot of foil wetting towel kitchen towel putting in the foil and wrapping it in the foil and that was so much effort so these are just so quick and convenient and you can adjust them to any cake size you have just you just want these in your kitchen if you and you want your oven to 176 degrees i know that's so so precise it's the recipe and you want to keep it to between 30 to 40 minutes i put it like a timer for 35 minutes to check make sure it comes out dry don't over cook it cook it because like then the moistness of it goes away so if you want to be extra you can obviously measure but i just swing it that cake mix is so bloody lush whilst the cake is cooking we're going to start making our buttercream now, the first thing you want is some room temperature butter. I think room te temperature is important and you just want to beat this for like five minutes. Okay, so you kind of want it to become like a fluffy texture. Like when you take it off it, it like kind of like points out. You might let it do a bit more. You want to be careful with this because the last time I did this, I put powder everywhere. You want icing sugar, which is literally finely min milled sugar. And you're going to put this slowly at a time in here. Again, mind the ugly ass bowl. It, as you can tell, it's a messy process, this bit. It's not my favourite. I definitely need to clean everything. But I've added some cocoa powder. And now we're going to add... What I did is I took some dark chocolate. I think it was like 50%. And I mixed it with a little bit of whipping cream. And you just want to like literally just dump this in here. And also, I'm going to put a bit of coffee, literally like 5 mil. Not a lot. Bit of vanilla. And I think that's it. I'm just going to let that mix for a bit and then we'll be back when the cake's cooled down. I feel like my camera is a bit crooked, but anyways, the cake is cooling in the fridge. It's almost done. I've got my piping bag here. We're just going to fill it with the buttercream. The buttercream just looks so lush. You know it's ready when it doesn't budge like that. We're just going to take our spatula and we're just going to give it a good mix first. I wish I had like a bigger one. I'm really bad at fitting my icing bag. My nose is itchy. I'm actually quite proud of myself. I cleaned the kitchen, spotless clean. I just wanted to show you the cake. Like, no burnt crust. It's flat. I mean, it's broken in some bits because I didn't let it fully cool, but it's just perfect. Before when I would bake, it would be like a mountain. So uneven and really burnt and crusty on the edges, but this just, it's just beautiful. This one is my most perfect one, so I'm not going to use that one on the bottom. I think I'm going to use this. This, again, is a pure example of me not... Just 
so good. This is just a pure example of me not being patient and just not waiting for it to cool down so it kind of came off. But we're going to put this as our bottom on our little cake thing. So I just put like a lot of, a lot of buttercream. And we're going to take our kind of like slanted spatula. I'm just going to, without breaking the cake, and slowly start flattening this. I do feel like I feel more confident the more I do this. This spinning plate thing, really helpful. This is my Ferrero Rocher. I mean, it was full and then I had one, which then became two, then three. I was gonna have a fourth, but I held myself back. So this is just going in between the layers. It's not going on the top or anything. I'm gonna take our wooden thing. On our cake, even, evenly. I don't want to put too much because I don't think I have enough. There we go, let me wash my hands. Okay, so now we're gonna take our second piece of cake. We're gonna do the same thing, literally. I'm just gonna put the rest of this, a bit more of a sprinkle this time, because I don't have enough. So we're gonna try and smooth what we have here. Cream, and this is what's going to really help get a um, smooth layer, like a smooth border. And literally, I just take this thing and I'm just like, I just smooth out the edges. And I'm putting like medium, medium pressure. cleaning the edges. I don't have a lot of buttercream so we're just gonna do some little star things. My cake looks a bit slanted, that, that's all right though. Make it a bit interesting, I like to put a bit of desiccated coconut. literally just chuck it but like I said I need practice on my decorating skills all right guys this is the final cake that looks so nice I can't wait to eat this one but it's huge a bit wonky but that's okay this is the moment of truth You guys are making me nervous, but <laughs> I should have kept it longer in the fridge, I feel like. Ooh. Ooh. So this is a close-up of the cake. Now it's looking a bit fudgy. I don't know if it's because of the chocolate. I do feel like it should be in the fridge way longer, but I thought uh, it's time for me to go to bed, so I thought I'd finish this video, but we're going to do a little bit of a taste test. I'm on. I'm really happy that I added the crunch in there. I feel like a real nice moist cake with a 
little bit of a crunch this is what you need all right guys i hope you enjoyed this cake episode i mean i'm proud of myself it looks so nice look at that slice look at that let me know what cake i should try to do next and um, thanks so much for watching if you haven't subscribed make sure to hit the subscribe button and i will see you all in my next video bye